This is Dalton and Dave from Coyote Classics here in Green, Iowa. And today we're gonna to go on a lot walk and check out all the badass muscle cars that we have inside today. I can't wait, let's go do it. came to work this morning with a bit of a surprise. There's a, a semi here this morning unloading about six new cars that we bought. Um, stick around until the end of the video. We're gonna go inside, check out the new showroom, which uh, I haven't shown before on one of these walk around videos. It just got completed. Um, but one of the new inventory we got today is this little Mustang coupe. This is my first time checking out these cars. So we're kind of seeing them together. Again, none of these have been through the shop on the website or are priced yet. We run all these cars through our shop, check them in, fix things that don't work. And then lastly, we take pictures, put them on the website and take videos. But I think on this load, there's about four new Mustangs. Beautiful convertible. Even got a little Catalina in the mix. Again, go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. That's where we're gonna see a lot of these cars, along with photos, prices, um, and of course, details. I'll put the link down in the comments of this video. Got a couple newer style trucks up there. That white one's pretty neat. Factory supercharged Callaway um, edition Silverado. Came out of Texas. Front, a couple of these cars are already on our website. Of course, we got the Pontiac Le Mans, the little Fox body Mustang, and this little Mustang Ghia, which it's kind of just a, a neat, neat car. Nothing we usually would have here, but pretty neat little ride. Hey, Murph. You gonna join us today? Come on, let's go look at some cars. First thing we got when we walk in, 76 Trans Am. Dave, I know you're a Trans Am guy. What's your thoughts on this one? It's hard for me to get too excited about a Trans Am that's not a 77, 79, but this one has changed my mind on it. And the fact that it's a bird delete car, I think it's amazing. Beautiful yeah, it's silver. It is pretty neat. Factory colors with the white interior is sharp too. This is all painted red oxy primer underneath. And again, I know you guys are gonna ask about prices. All the prices can be seen on the website, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put a link down in the comments of this video. Um, so after the video, hop on the website, check out prices on any of these cars that you're interested in. 64 Mercury Comet Cyclone. I love the color of this one. And yeah. the fact that it has these, I believe these are original rims. Is yeah. that what we're seeing here? Yep, the original style wheels. Yeah. Like you just that. don't, you don't see these cars. This one came out of California. Yep. And from some of the experts I talked to, it said it's one of the lower mileage. Nice one in the country, right? Yeah, nice right? one in the country. The guy that uh, previously owned it and had it in his collection was a big Mercury guy. Uh, this showroom's got a lot of sold cars in it. This one is the 71 Boss 351, a one year only car, and it's heading um, to Germany. Yeah, this is a special ride right here. It is. Next to that's another sold Mustang. Yeah, that one's going to California, back where it was built, pretty much, just down the street from where it was built. So that's pretty exciting. That's pretty neat. And we yeah. picked it up in Iowa. Yes, so that's we did. what that's yeah, what's really Pella, cool. Iowa. Yeah. Yeah. Pella, Iowa, back to its home of California. Yes. And we got some sweet Mustangs over here too. Yeah, these two we just actually put on the website. I really like this convertible. This is just to me, it's a. Uh, Looks like the real deal GT. It's got the, the factory high performance GT motor in it. It's factory A code car, so high high performance four barrel car. It's got air conditioning. And it's red. It's got the fog lights and the correct exhaust, things like that. So and but it's less money because it's not an actual GT. So I feel this one's a score because it looks like you have everything and you got the performance and you're paying less. That, that so. thing is sweet. Another uh, Mustang that's priced to sell. It's this beauty right here, fantastic colors. It's got the C-stripe on it. Three-speed manual, um, but really clean car inside now. I think this one's a 27,995, so I'm run to the website. Over 30, I know, I think Chad wanted to get this thing out quick, but run to the website, check this thing out. I like the selection too, where they got the, uh, the uh, little air cleaner, but they're still showing off the Everbrock carburetor underneath, so it's not that big and covering it. Yeah, it's very clean engine compartment too. Yeah, it's, it's a, a cool car. Of the car. 71 Chevelle, you guys seen that one? That one sold, it's heading to California as well. Hey, Doc. 
Yeah, this one's a beast. I think that one, that's super fun right there. Yeah, it is. Um, this is something that you usually don't see here at Coyote Classics, but uh, 96 Impala Super Sport, just a really low mileage car. These things are shooting up in value and probably one of the cleanest ones around, 40,000 miles. And this one came out of Iowa too, um, Animosa. It's yep. uh, like a dark cherry maroon. Just a, a very good look. And I've always loved the way this badge looks here. Kind of makes you think of the Corvette. Kind yeah. Of style stuff. That's cool, the LT1 in them. But yeah. Really cool cars. 67 Firebird just waiting to, to ship out. And I'm a Firebird guy, so yeah, I love that one. What do you think of the 73 convertible here, this blue one? This is a pretty car, I love the colors on it. This one has a five-speed manual transmission in it, which makes it super nice and fun to drive. Paint's beautiful, interior's nice. Give you a peek of that interior. I'm actually surprised we still have it. I am too, it got held up in a pending deal, uh, but now it's for sale again, and next guy gets it, beautiful car. All right, we're gonna zoom on over to the, the new showroom and show you some, some of the cool shit we got in there. We got a lot of cool stuff in there. This is a 1970 GTX, numbers matching, 440 U-code, high performance engine, done in its original colors, green interior, numbers matching, drivetrain, just a really cool car. I know Shay mentioned this as, as the gentleman's, gentleman's muscle, muscle car. car. Yeah, muscle yep, car. Absolutely. Yeah, check this one out, 70 Chevelle. It's gorgeous underneath the hood here. Yeah, this one we just put on the web last week. I'm sure a lot of you guys have had the chance to check out that video. If not, check that thing out. I mean, Chad, get the tires squealing a little bit. Really fun car. Well, and I think looking at under here with all, all this, um, the metal and how it shines so much, I could see Lil Wayne saying, like, that's where he got that bling saying from. <laughs> there you go. Because <laughs> all the light reflecting off this chrome is just We've been calling awesome. it the jewelry box around here. The jewelry box, yeah, we've had fun with that one. But yeah, this is this all very super nice, clean, good car. Yeah, it is. Back in here, uh, 73 Cuda. It's got a crate Hemi in it, 472 crate Hemi with AC. Kind of a resto mod car, just faster than heck. Um, great color. Just well, really classy see the looking car. In this thing, it is just, I don't know if we should pop it here. I yeah, mean, you can. the engine is just a monster. It's impressive how they fit all that, all that engine in that engine compartment, but really straight. <laughs> Straight, good-looking car. I mean, look at this thing. Look at that. Look at the valve covers on it. It's just monster it's of an awesome. engine. Can you imagine what it could do to the pavement when you drive over it? <laughs> yeah. Talking about black lines. Oh, so at least some black with lines. These. That's for sure. It's got air conditioning, which I love how they found room to shove that in there. 67 Mustang. <laughs> this one's going over to a wonderful customer in Australia. Um, so anyone from Australia, leave a comment. Maybe you'll see this thing uh, cruising the streets. I don't know what Murphy's doing right now, but he's having he's, ta time. he's tagging he's, along. He's having trouble picking which one he wants. I think like, so. Oh, I don't know. It's like a lot of customers. <laughs> it is. It's tough to pick. I would have a hard time. This is Nova. We had a ton of interest on. <clears throat> Sorry for anyone who missed out, but uh, keep an eye on the website. We're always getting in. We always get more cars. Like a lot of great stuff, you guys. So if you miss one, trust me, you might even find the perfect one next. Absolutely. Um, Across from that, 70 Real Deal GTO Judge, um, PHS documents, factory four-speed car with its numbers matching four-speed transmission. Correct heads on it, too. That's got the right heads. I've always loved these. The front end of these 70 uh, GTOs, especially a Judge with a wing on the back. Yeah, they're my Very nice. favorite yeah. car and they're comfortable. Oh, well, it's got a functional rear hood too. I think that's awesome. Yeah, those are neat. Uh, 81 Corvette, this one just sold this week. It's had in New Mexico, beautiful car. I'm not a Stingray kind of guy, but this one I was like, I want to buy it. Yeah, it's David. Very cool. Dave about bought it. It's a, I was tempted. I was tempted. It's a neat car. Across from that's my favorite car on the lot. This is a numbers matching L78 Chevelle, 396, 375 horse. The original colors on this thing. One thing that's really impressive, it still has its original smog. Um, just kind of a concourse done car. You'll notice the overspray on the intake. Like, what the hell? That's a you know, yeah. shitty job yeah, there. I did that. Yeah. Actually, that's, that's stock. So when these motors were put together, they were hand assembled and then painted um, painted while they were put together. So often when you bought this car from the factory, you had overspray on the intake and manifolds when they did the concourse restoration. 
And did, did you say that so correct that the air is correct in the back? <laughs> yeah, that's an expression I use to describe this thing. Um, factory four speed, everything's numbers matching. Um, kind of the holy grail of Chevelle. the paint though. I mean, what is this, 20 year old paint? I know it's a little dusty right at the moment, but yep. it is just gorgeous. Yeah, it's been it's in a private collection for 15 years. Sitting by like Coco cars and Superbirds. Yeah, I mean, sitting by some really crazy you know, stuff. I just think those other cars are saying like, we were sitting by the L78 Chevelle. You know, yeah, so. <laughs> absolutely, now it's here. This little Maz is just kind of a nice little sleeper, very original under the hood. It's got air, super clean, solid car. But one thing that I love about this car is uh, it still has its original dealer sticker on the bumper. How often do you see that? I think that's cool. I love it, yeah. And I think with this, it's like, this is not my favorite kind of Le Mans or whatever, but this one is just done where it's just like, every time you walk through the showroom, you're like, oh. Yeah, the door's open. It's just one of those cars you can tell is just babied its entire life. This is a pretty cool um, I like like power tool car. Uh, yeah. I love 69 Chevelles, and when it's a convertible, it's like, oh dear. Yeah, neat yeah. colors on this thing too. Five speed, 454, built to power tour. Um, just a, a neat car. On it, yeah. Yeah. That video is on, a, on our YouTube right now, so check that thing out. Dave's a Camaro guy. Oh, I'm I sure love he loves this one. this one. I love this one. Yeah, this one's got the 396 with the 350 horsepower engine. It's just all original. Don't know why we still have it, but it is that 350 horse. 396 SS car. Numbers um, matching too. Numbers matching. Even has the 8-track player in there, which is awesome factory addition to this car. But look at the paint on it. Just look at it. It's just a fantastic car. Black vinyl top really makes it look nice. Usually I'm not a black vinyl top guy, but for this one, stellar. That's cool. This is one of my favorite Camaros we have right now, believe it or not. 74 Z28 Type LT. Um, that's right. It's a Z28 and an LT from the factory. I've only seen paint. ones like this with this giant decal on the front. I've only seen that in Camaro books. Yeah. I've never actually seen one in person until this arrived on the Dude, block. these are cool. These are super cool. I love the decals on them. Red, white, and blue. Big right in your face. Just a kick-ass car. Mm -hmm. Of course, 58 Fairlane. This is a resto mod, all modern drivetrain. Uh, previous owner stuck a ton of money into the build on this thing. Um, he stated he had about 110000 in the wow. build, which... You know, if you've ever restored a car, you know that it's uh, it's definitely attainable. So for about half, close to half the money in no work, you can already have it done and finished and perfect for any parade. So there you go. I think this is a buy right here. Recent restoration as well. We'll zoom over to the back shop, see what the guys are working on today. We head in the shop. I got to show you this thing I just picked up yesterday. Um, went up to northern Minnesota and grabbed this 1970 Mustang Fastback. I love this one, and the color is just beautiful. Yeah, in my opinion, you can't get a better color um, in a Mustang. And if you want to see one like it, just watch Point Break with uh, Patrick Swayze and uh, who's the other guy? Um, he's in a bunch. Patrick Swayze and. Help us out in the comments. If you know that movie, you know the other actor, drop yeah. it in the comments. Give us, give us a hand. But anyway, yeah, it's. Uh, um, Utah's car in that show, the the young guy. I can't think of his name. Shit. Somebody somebody will remember. They'll, they'll help us out in the comments. But this it, is a cool. It is in there. Cool so car. when you see this, and if you watch that movie, you will be like, Google it. <laughs> it's cool. Different color, but there you go. Yeah, that thing will be on the website here soon. Justin is working on a sold Mustang, getting it ready for delivery. Looks like he's going through and fixing the horn. So one thing about us, every car before it leaves our shop, you know, after it's sold, we run through the, the shop again. Um, just double check everything. Lights, fluids, or mechanics, test drive them again. Just make sure that the car's completely ready to go for our customers. That way when they get it, they know exactly what they got and they can jump in and drive it right away. And here we're checking checking in this little Mustang. Kind of a project car, it needs a new convertible top. Interior needs some work. Trying to get it running good, Brant. Oh yeah, just put some points in it. Put some plugs in it. I think we can make something decent out of it. Yeah, she needs some work, but it'd be a good project for somebody. Got some cars lined up for detail over there. We have a Demon, little Mustang Fox body. 
before we head into the shop, I just spotted these two beauties sitting out here all by themselves. This little Nova and then the Mustang behind me that I'll show in a second also came off the trailer today. So again, don't know much about them, um, but I'm excited to get to drive them this afternoon. I love that blue with the white exterior. This thing's giving me a good first impression. I think it's gonna turn out sweet once we run it through the shop and do our thing to it. This little Mustang convertible too. We got a lot of, a lot of Mustangs right now, which is a great thing. Normally they're kind of hard to find, but our, our buyers have been doing a great job finding and bringing us good stuff. Pretty neat interior on this thing as well. Full console. Pretty neat little Mustang. In here, Michael and Tim are checking in a few cars as well. This Camaro is a numbers matching 350 Rally Sport car, split bumper. Thing looks beautiful, buffed it all out. Looks like he's looming up some wires. And this uh, Monte Carlo we just bought the other day, really neat story. The guy I bought it from has owned it since it was two years old, since the car was two years old. He's had it for all this time. It's a really well kept, cared for car. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel and check out our website. Link will be in the comments of this video. There you're gonna see all the prices, pictures, and our contact info if you wanna pick up one of these beauties. And give us a call too. We're getting cars all the time and maybe we'll find the one exact that you want and be the first one to get it. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot.